Mighty wants to get to the Mets and uh, what it's has just, transpired. Man, it's just what's been coming out the last couple of days, some reports that there's belief in the organization that they are not, they don't feel that this is the right time to build a team around Jose Reyes and give him the contract that he's looking for, which is probably going to be about a six-year kind of deal. And what I say to that is, if you seriously feel this way, then why on earth did you not attempt to trade this man before the trade deadline? To me, it makes no sense whatsoever. Were they scared of the Met fan, or were they think the Met fan would, like... Maybe in consider were they somehow considering the fans not showing up anymore? Like, yeah, is that like but any- you're in New York? You, you first off, you were getting about twenty five thousand to begin with. I mean, yeah. it's not and as that, if and you we, sell. And we alluded down. to that during the season. Yeah, we did, we did. So maybe instead of twenty five thousand, you get twenty thousand. You'll get twenty thousand in your sleep. Yes. Are you losing some money? Okay, yeah. But you cannot, you cannot run your organization because you're worried about the fan base. You have to run your organization and do what you feel is right. Now, listen, good baseball we, bo- moves. we both agree that, no, it is a good idea for you not to give that long-term Absolutely. contract. It, to it's the right. best decision. Without question. Yeah. But the problem that we keep, that, and especially I keep harping on, and I wanted to bring this up today, if that was the thought process, you got a very, very good pitching prospect for Carlos Beltran, who is an impending free agent. You could have gotten at least as much for Jose Reyes. Why you did not try to go that route is beyond my comprehension. And and another thing, especially if you're worried about the whole fan base deal or whatever and the, and the opinion of the fans and the view, don't say this. Just give the guy a low ball offer that you know he's not going to accept. Let him walk and say, listen, well, we offered him a six-year deal. He didn't want to stay with us. We can't afford it. There's also talks of Mets uh, talking about shedding $30 million off the payroll. But again, if this was the mindset, why did you not try to trade this guy and bring back top prospects in return? It makes absolutely no sense. To Maybe they're content on the draft picks. On the supplemental picks, yeah. yeah. Make a couple of picks, and then there'll be Mike Pelfrey in four years. And how is that working out? I can't. Boggles Vin. It just boggles my mind. That's the Mets, and that's just why they boggles are. Boggles. That's my why mind. the Mets are where they are. 